Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. A message to all those who wish to waste their time and energy engaging with people who want to debunk the flat earth. Do not feed the monkeys. You want to feed the monkeys? Go somewhere else. Okay? So there are people out there who have clearly adopted uh, deception as a means of uh, trying to debunk the flat earth and in no way uh, attempt to prove that we live on a spherical earth with any kind of science. Science has gone out the window. In fact, it was never part of the globe earth belief. It's uh, just ridiculous. So people would rather believe through deception that they live on a spinning ball and they are monkeys. So, I for one will not be feeding the monkeys anymore. Any more monkeys who uh, come to my channel, uh, create hate, will be banned. No more time for any of that. So, uh, anyway, we'll just go and have a look now at this viewpoint and we'll see how easy it is to be deceptive. It's an old banyan tree with a swing. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm not really sure how high this place is. Phuket City viewpoint. Okay, but let's have a look at what we can see. And if we wanted to attempt to debunk the globe with us, uh, the flat earth with a single photograph, how would we go about doing it? Well, okay, there's a, there's a place over there. Big Buddha, okay? It's on the top of the hill. It's bigger than, or it's higher up than here. Okay, so I could just go along and we'll find something that's fairly level. Just show that we'll take one of these. Here we go. We'll use this. It's it's fairly level, but we'll, we'll show how, how little is required. So I've got the camera resting just on, on this ledge here. We'll zoom in. And okay, I at this height I, I run into the hill. Now all I've got to do, I'll show you how little I have to raise it. Uh, just compare it to the to the plinth the here and see how little it's raised. That will do, I expect. And now I can get this in the middle of the frame and claim to be at eye level, yeah, at the same height, yeah, literally just raised it um, less than a centimetre, okay, so people can give you numbers and claims and locations and all that jazz and get you running around doing mathematical equations, flustering over all these things because they made a claim with no other evidence apart from a photograph and some numbers we could do the same over here it's a lovely view um so if we wanted to be deceptive we can set up a scenario like this, where we claim that this photograph, the only photograph we're going to refer to, of the Isle of Maybe in the distance here, is impossible on the flat Earth. And we're going to do this by not settling on any first principles. And uh, referring to terminology often used in flat Earth research and experiments and inve investigations, and define it in a different way that we won't clarify when questioned. Now let's be sure to understand that usually when uh, we talk about eye level we mean two things. Firstly we mean that the camera is completely level. That means horizontal. A parallel line of sight across a flat surface or perpendicular to the observer's vertical, there up and down, and so we have a 
a horizontal line of sight that's at right angles to the up and down of the observer, their local up and down. That's eye level. And of course, when we look at horizons, we see a horizon that appears to rise to eye level when we look straight ahead. This is common knowledge. This is a repeatable observation that can be made. But if we wanted to use this uh, understanding of perspective against flat earthers and uh, create a, a scenario that would appear to be impossible on the flat earth, then we're going to avoid really being definitive about what eye level actually means. So bearing in mind that the the flat earther who comes to argue about this will have in their mind the idea that eye level is a direct line of sight at which the horizon naturally appears to be at. But if we want to be deceptive, we will just claim that eye level is the camera's height. And because we are looking out in a general direction uh, at a height of 500 meters, that is going to be our eye level as well. That's as far as we will go in uh, confirming what eye level is if we want to be deceptive. Of course, what's happened here is we've, we've got a, a horizon that is quite high in the photograph. So straight off the bat, this isn't the same eye level that uh, flat earthers would normally refer to as being in the center of the field of view. But of course, it's taking advantage and twisting this idea that the horizon is naturally at eye level. So this is the claim that, that this is your eye level, but also down here is your eye level and everywhere along, around, everything in this field of view is eye level because that's the camera's height. So eye level is going to become very, very generalized. And any arguments or questions about the angle of the camera will be met with the response that uh, the angle doesn't matter. Uh, whether it's tipping up or down, it makes no difference to what we see here, which is what? It is um, a piece of rock that's sticking up above the horizon that is lower, in this case 100 meters, than the camera height or what's also being referred to as eye level in this case of deception, this straw man argument. So we can see now that we have uh, something that is lower than the camera height, also being called eye level. And so naturally we must be looking down or the angle of elevation from the horizontal line of sight must be down towards this rock height and then the horizon that's just below the rock height making the horizon appear to be even lower than this 100 meters. So actually it doesn't matter how high uh, this rock or island actually is as long as it's lower than the camera height and uh, the horizon then appears to be even lower than that. So even though we can tell from this picture by looking at the actual center of frame, which we know is not eye level if the camera is tilted down, this will be ignored. This will all be ignored. It's, it's uh, something that will uh, be avoided in confirming or being talked about if we want to carry out this trick question and deception and stick to the claim that uh, what we see in front of us is, is eye level because that's the direction the camera is facing. And of course, it's uh, horizontal or perpendicular to uh, the observer's vertical. But when pushed, then this observer's vertical will become something like uh, they're uh, down towards the center of the spherical Earth. It won't actually talk about their local vertical. And there we have this scenario that appears to be impossible because of the numbers that have been given and the knowledge that we are higher than the rock over here and higher than the horizon over here. So, of course, we must be looking down. And we going to our line of sight or is horizontal, as is always claimed, but the... Uh, 
direct line of sight to the horizon or beyond the horizon through this lower point here of just 100 meters is what's going to be used to create confusion and claim that this line of sight is going off away above the curve of the horizon and therefore uh, it's like the horizon just cuts off uh, rather than being at eye level so it's very easy very easy to be deceptive if you want to be uh, so you know you must you must respect and commend those people who have been scientific in their investigations most flat earthers who have done measurements and experiments did so as scientifically as possible more scientifically so than the scientific community has ever done not with just numbers and calculations but with attempts to get true measurements proper measurements and it's very difficult <coughs> no one's ever measured any curvature across the surface of the earth So whenever people, if people aren't being transparent or clear about their, their numbers or um, especially the word level, you ask a, a globe defender to define level, they will never define it properly for you. Yeah. But really should be an essential part of any flat earth, globe earth investigation. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, ignore these time wasters. Let them, let them have their fantasy globe if they want to. If they have to be deceptive and all those people who are supporting them uh, have to go along with the deception just to hang on to their globe and uh, in, an, in vain attempts to debunk flat earth with a single photograph and uh, ridiculous claims that they can't back up, you know, very unscientific. Um, assumptions, accusations, and stuff. Then great. I mean, you just go ahead. You just go ahead, guys, and you'll keep on proving to those with discernment uh, that the only way the globe can be propped up is through deception. You know, flat Earth doesn't need that people don't need to be deceptive to realize flat earth they need to they need to see and realize the deception yeah and then everything becomes clear so i must i must thank though all these uh, globe earth defenders and anti flat earthers for their hate their mindless rhetoric and uh, you know them them thinking they are smarter than people who wish to uh, seek the truth and question science and scientific method and apply science. And, uh, you know, it's great. You just carry on. And uh, us flat earthers will carry on doing what these guys are doing. We'll just clear up the mess you make. Cool, huh? Anyway, so there you go. Um, the deceivers, deniers, anti-flat earthers, liars you really are making a mess <laughs> of yourselves I sure love you and leave you thank you very much